just real quick guys before we continue i have something to show you have a look at this look at this man lancer is the answer holy moly i've been building bankyspec.com over the past two years to help support the channel all the stickers are created in-house in the banky spec bedroom my own bedroom we also just got some new packaging and we ship out orders through australia post out of everything we've created on the bankyspec.com website i think this is my most favorite piece of clothing my favorite design i am absolutely stoked with the quality the material and everything we have been slowly upgrading uh my merchandise just like i am with the cars and we're slowly getting better and better quality but i just wanted to say thank you to everyone who helps and supports my channel you guys are literally making my dream a reality so guys we are almost ready to turn the boost up in the lancer over the course of a month we've applied everything that we know into this build and we have basically successfully turbo this thing. Now, because I'm not a tuner, I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but my ultimate goal is to not blow this thing up. So I've actually done a few mods off camera to help me out. To monitor what's going on inside the engine, I've installed a wideband sensor to accurately measure the air fuel ratios. I've also installed a GFB boost control, which I had laying around in the garage from a previous build. And with these two modifications, we should be able to accurately tune the car. We're gonna take the Lancer Turbo for the longest trip it's ever had down to to Mike Lake's shop. I think out of everyone that I know, I'm most excited to show Mike Lake the work that I've done to this Lancer. But there are of course a few things that we need to do uh, before we take it there. We need to get this bumper on a little bit better otherwise we're gonna get in trouble in order to get the turbo lancer to my shop i added a few more clips into the bumper it's not fully installed but it won't fly off when we're driving i packed some tools for our big plans today and off we went all right guys we're just going to keep an eye on the boost and the afrs to make sure that we're not going to get the engine into any problems where it could face a lean out but yeah it's, it's probably not going to lean out under like one psi anyway we're just going to stay in vacuum the wide band is all functioning everything works through gauge all works so we should be right. Let's head to Mike's. I'm pretty sure Mike's here because his daily's here, his tough rig. I gotta do the car guy call. Dude, I've been trying so hard not to hit boost on the way here, I'm not gonna lie. It's impossible not, like something oh, inside us just wants to hit boost. Like you said, I, I went a little bit overboard. A little bit? Yeah. You went way overboard. Mac valve. Yeah. This guy acting like he's gonna turn his boost up. Yeah, I know, I probably won't be able to. What, what's the spring setup on these turbos? What are they set at? Uh, seven, seven PSI. Good starting, oh. like good starting, yeah, amount I, of boost I think, I sure. think max you want like eight on these things, so. Ten. Ten. You're not hitting boost till later anyway. Like, cause remember that what bends rods and internals is uh, early boost. So if it's not if it's not coming on early, we can go a bit harder, a bit later. I mean, yeah, yeah, big yeah. bad, bad guy. Yeah. Cause remember we chat last time, and I was like, oh, you get carried away. You're like, no, 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 no. We're just gonna throw a turbo on. Like, not even gonna change the manifold, bro. Mike was right. We went absolutely overboard with this Lancer build. Custom lines, custom exhaust, two and a half inch all the way. Mike was uh kind of surprised <laughs> and then i had uh my mate luca come around and uh make me a custom manifold it's which so is actually nice. pretty good yeah. now as you guys know mike lake also has a ce lancer but a 1.8 liter variant he turboed his one and made 160 kilowatts but unfortunately it was stolen i was told the fevo had been stolen Yep, you heard correctly. Unfortunately, last Friday, the Fevo was stolen. Got a call from the cops. After reviewing Mike's car in the hills, I could understand completely why he loved the car so much. He bought it as a YouTube build just to make some content, but he fell in love with it. Unfortunately, it was taken, but luckily Mike is an optimistic guy and he is going to do something insane. So it turns out they stole it, thrashed it, but it had a dud fuel pump in it. And so that when they were thrashing it, they just smashed the block to pieces. I'll show you guys over here. No. Look at it, dude. Look how like, dude, no. it's insane how much damage it did. Holy I God. know. <laughs> and it's got another hole like through the Look, I was like gutted for about five minutes. And then kind of, I'm, I'm a bit of a positive person. So I was like, all right, sweet. What can we do? We've got to move on. And I was like, well, we can upgrade now. But it's like, you know, I've got the car back. And so we decided we're going to do a bit of a different conversion on it. Um, we're real -world drive Nissan C18D T swapping it. What the hell? Oh, it's already still in there. I just yeah. watched your previous video too. Dude, I sent it in and I love like coming into the shop and seeing this. <laughs> it looks so strange. Eh? 
Dude, how are you gonna like get the rack to work and all that? So that's all disappearing. We're gonna yeah. put a full S13 front in it. After catching up with Mike, we packed my tools and we headed to the wreckers, which is like five minutes away from Mike's shop because we want to turn the boost up and more boost means more fuel. So the plan today is to go get some injectors from the wreckers. Uh, Mike's been kind enough to be able to help me today. What do you reckon? 200, 300 cc? Nah, we'll get a couple, I think. We'll get the okay. 250s out of the 4G93. Yep. And then uh, we'll come back for the main event. The main event for the Lancer. Yeah, I'm keen. It's gonna be good. All right, guys, we're here at the Wreckers. The one and only Imlax, Imlox, whatever you want to call it, Imlox. Um, did you get? Did you get the gun? Yeah, I got the gun. It's in my bag. Yep. Um, Two dollars entry, um, and it, we've got most cars here, and it's it's the best place because the Lancers are at the front. How do you know? They're literally right there, so we didn't even need to walk far. Usually, when I go here, I'm for I'm coming for the Falcons and stuff, and I got to walk all the way to the bottom right corner so they know we're gonna be here a lot so they put them close for us <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're looking for uh what one of your lancers i guess oh, so. again, i think they come in mine too so yeah we're looking for uh 4g 93. we'll um, do a bit of googling though i reckon we'll suss out some other injectors as well and see if there's any other yep. like different sizes so that we can save ourselves another trip yep maybe get a couple of sets Within the, within the so, range of like 250, 300cc I reckon is what we're after. What were you running in yours? How big were they? They were 550s, but because um, like essentially... It's a 1.8. Yeah, yeah, well not just that. Remember that we the ECU is tunable. So it doesn't matter. You could run any size injectors really because yep. it'll turn the fuel out. But we don't, don't have that option. Pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, got, it's got the headers. Factors, yeah. Damn. All right, guys. Mike and I are going to get to work. Yellow injectors. Yellow? What, is that the right one? I guess so. <laughs> 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 never. It's never supposed to be way smoother, Mike. It's never smooth. Yeah. Why, why do I always put under oh, pressure? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're definitely chucking that rail away. Those will charge us for that. Oh, yeah, no. They'll charge you for everything oh, here. No. Dude, that's why make, you can't pull motors here, man. They make bank. Yeah. Rusty. Nice. 240 oh, cc's so of tiny. glory. Yeah, I know. So good, huh? The best thing about these as well, like WRX injectors, same. Mm. So, like, yeah, I was running STI WRX injectors for 550cc blue top. These are 240cc, but these are going to be beautiful for your... Uh, they literally just plug straight in, right? Yeah, just plug yep. straight in. So good. No I, lo I love lances, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Lego. All right, guys, we're also grabbing some tires, all right? I know it seems a little bit sus, but... The, like, hidden gem about this place is they do, like, $30 tires. So if you're, like, a drifter or, like, to do stuff on the street, you shouldn't. <laughs> or in Mexico or whatever. Um, come here, grab your tires. So, like, we need one on five... 50 15 so as you can see here's some 105 50 15s but like nearly brand new yeah they look good man they're, they're literally can't even see the tread uh, yeah. indicator look at that so we'll grab damn see if we can find another two yep and that we ever see the tires and, and usually obviously they would cost you know 70 80 bucks so yeah shout out autobahn yep we're here at autobahn we've got some uh spark plugs some valve stem things bkr 70 yep. always the best the best valve stems we're putting some new wheels on today, man. It's going to be so good. Yep. Damn! We still haven't done a fuel pump too. So once we do that, we should get even more fuel pressure and run even more fuel. So we'll be able to turn the boost up a bit more. But, and then you're also, what are you doing? Timing oh, light. So light. we can retard the timing about five degrees uh, because when you put boost into a motor, you generally under boost, you want to retard the timing. Um, so we can get away with like five degrees. It'll still idle nicely, but that way under boost, it's not going to hopefully knock. Oh yeah, we got to take out the, the 91 that's in there. Correct. We can still muck around with like it as it is yep. with 91 in it. You just can't go too far. Yep. So like there's even a chance that we can just get it good today, um, get the airflow, uh, AFRs right, and then once you put 98 in it, you can kind of dial them in a bit better as well. So yep. like your, this is basically your tuning mechanism here. Yep, more that's fuel, right. more boost. Yep, more fuel. And you can actually dial fuel. That's good, this is my spark plug tool. <laughs> you can actually dial fuel out of them as well. So you can tune, like, tune it out. So. Like for example, that's where you want to get the right size injectors. Like under idle, we can dial a little fuel out um, and have it like a, maybe 35 psi, and then but under boost, it'll still put more fuel in. You know what I mean? So it'll still yeah. get the fuel pressure it needs. Because say you're running seven pound or something, so like 35 psi, I'd see about 42 psi under boost, and because they're bigger injectors in a motor that's not supposed to have bigger injectors because the ECU, it'll dump more fuel than it should because mm -hmm. it like has a calculation and it thinking it's 165 cc injectors. I'm not an expert. <laughs> Mike's an expert guys. I'm a Google expert. <laughs> I've researched everything I can. Yeah, well, YouTube Mechnic's right here. Yeah, oh, Mechnic. 
Hey sir, what's a mechanic? Okay, that was a lot of information, but basically all you need to know is that we're putting in as much fuel into the engine as possible while still having the engine be able to idle. We are also retarding the timing so that we could also have better response and it's overall better for the engine. Mike got his timing light out and retarded at five degrees and we also found an interesting discovery. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see it, yeah. Mike Lake blows up my Lancer. Call out. Mike Lake blows on my Lancer. <laughs> Mike Scam Lake. Oh, it's mid. I can't really show it on camera, but basically, there's like a little marker on the crank pulley. And as Mike moves the distributor, it moves that little marker um, according to the, the flashing of the light. You can only see it with the timing light. Uh, I don't really know what he's doing now, but we're doing things to make the car faster. That's, that's all you need to know. We've just been playing around with the timing and uh, the marker was a little bit off before we even touched it. So it seems like someone actually has played with the timing on this engine before we've touched it and they've advanced the timing. Which is, makes sense, because when I was younger, like what you do is advance the timing on an NA motor. Makes it more power. Yeah, it gives more power. Like yeah. the only thing is I've done it before thinking it was awesome to the point where it pings and then detonates and blows the piston. We were really? On, you've, on done our, it. you've done that? Yeah, when I was younger, we were on our way like a, on a road trip. And we're like, you bought the timing on like a K30 wagon, K36 wagon, and smashed the piston to pieces. Though. It was like three yeah. hours out of town as well. What is that? Oh my god! <laughs> it, look, it's glowing red. Oh cause, wow. Because of how, how, um, how much we've retarded the timing. It got hot quick, didn't it? Yeah, because yeah. that's um, like this pressure backing up. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave it there. That seems. It's hitting like almost three psi. Just just by rubbing it just like that, almost three psi. Is that fuel or is that oil? Fuel. Bit of bit of both. Oh, mostly fuel. Oh, you got AFR gauge? Yep. Can you tell me how it's idling? After dialing in the timing, we removed our old spark plugs and replaced them with BKR7E plugs. We also gapped them to 0.7 millimeters, which is super easy to do. You can tap them on the ground, use a little hammer. We also installed our new injectors from the Wreckers, these 240cc yellow injectors. And to remove the old injectors from the 4G15, it's super easy to do. All you need is a 12 millimeter socket and you can remove the rail and then pull the old injectors out. All right, these are the, the uh, old injectors. These are the new injectors. You can see they're basically the same, but the color is a little bit different. That's it. See that? That's fuel. Yeah. Damn. Oh, but now it's correcting itself. Damn, that's sick. So yeah, we've got the injectors all installed now, guys. I'll, I'll give you a close up. Oh yeah, I can smell it. Well guys, it's running now. It's out on the road. We're at about 11 on, uh, on idle, but it sounds pretty good. Doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it. We're gonna go for a test drive now. Bro, look at this thing, man. Sleeper. <laughs> race car, Mike's like, hop in the race car. Oh, man. All right. Look. 10. All right, sweet. We could, we all right, let's go. Put the boost up. First gear. So it's still rich, still, which it's is nice. Jazz. I reckon go second for now, like, yep. go into second. No, 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 um, we'll, just give it, you know, just make sure she's just running nice. Yep. Seems to be running pretty good. 10? Yeah. Wow, bro, that's insane. Is that's that insane. Okay. Is it different than what it was? What was it doing? No, like? no, no, it was, it was, it was I'm just looking uh, at the AFR. Was thing. it always at 10s though? Or what, no, what it no, it be? was at like 14. Uh, so we got left here. 13 and a half, you know. Yeah, give, give it a bit. little bit, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is wicked. That felt wicked. What oh, the hell? Do you hear it? Yes. It's so good. What? It's building boost really nicely. Dude, it's like there's some hesitation, but then it then it really pulls. It's probably it is quite rich. Pretty good. Now uh, which 
Which way are we going? <laughs> Left. Left. So this yeah. goes around a big block, so. Man, I'm gonna get carried away, man. Let's get carried away, I think it's fine. Right. Bro. That's mid. What the that hell? That is man. so good, bro. Dude, that honestly feels like close to yours. It feels really nice, eh? Yeah. So I'm watching, it's not really like. What's it hitting? Like three pound or something, so I go right. Oh, my shit. bad. That's okay. This looks like an Air Force like testing base or something, eh? But what? I've actually, what is this? Now. I've never seen this before. What, what is the it? Hell? Oh yeah, no. Come on. Big lock guy. We go, we go, Big we go. lock yeah, guy. Oh yeah. Alright. It's good, bro. It's mid. It's good. It's good. Ten. Which way? Straight. Yeah, it's very responsive. It's that um ability to control timing that is really good. All right, let's go. Send it? Yeah. Let me? Yeah. Oh, got a bit. It was still under 14.7. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're, we're leaning. So it's, it does lean out when it's... Um, I need to watch the... Oh! oh. So it got up to four pound. Oh, my God. It's popping, bro. Yeah, it is. It's four pounds? That's overfill pops, which is good. So we'll go around all the way around this roundabout now. Right. Should I dial in a bit more fuel pressure now? I'll yeah, dial it in yeah. and hell see yeah. what we can do. That sounds incredible. I know. It builds boost better than mine, but it's... Really, you reckon? Yeah, way better, way better. I love, I love how it's popping on diesel as well. Oh, wow, okay. Whoa, that's so good. I'm just keeping your eye on All right, pull, pull up and I'll, I'll dial up the fuel pressure. Oh, have you got little tools? Yeah, I've got the tools. Oh, man, just yeah. yeah. What's in the chat? They also don't know what it's doing, mm. like when it's demanding fuel because you've got a stock fuel pump. So it might be that it's the fuel pump's running out of legs as well. Oh. We are running stock fuel pump, yeah. so and that's the, the next upgrade. see that would be to put a GoPro here to look at that gauge mm. while you're going because you'd see pressure drop. Mm -hmm. And when you see a pressure drop, you know your fuel pump's uh. not keeping up with the demand. Yeah. It's only making four pound of boost, it says. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, That's better. way better. Bro, this thing's gonna blow up. <laughs> Because it's you can feel it pulling so hard. It didn't um like that as well just then. Yeah, so I reckon we'll dive at fuel pressure, but okay. I can, I can new pump now. Okay. Yeah, so just so. don't floor it too hard, watch the AFRs and well, then. Maybe pull, it pull over here in. and I'll um dial it back because I'll make it drivable for me driving home and stuff. Cheers man. And then just watch the AFRs, yeah. Oh yeah. Good. I don't even know what we hit. I wasn't watching. 4.7. Yeah, 4.7. Okay, so we're hitting so, more. It wants to go there for sure. I didn't yep. watch the AFR then because I was watching Boost. No, I'll, I'll watch Boost. Well done. Cheers, well done, man. Everyone. Thanks for your help, bro. Hey, it's been fun. Like, and you let me drive, which is cool. I yeah. love Boost. Yeah, so. of course, man. Oh, wow, I hit 5.4. I uh, hey, could hear a little bit of this detonation there. That's your Arbani yep. one field. Okay, I didn't even hear it. I wasn't even trying to listen for it. <laughs> Yeah, she's smoky, bro. Yeah. That's right. That's oil weight. That's different oil. Hell yeah, dude. Car. This is the best build I've ever done. It? Yeah, so it's good. So good. We do need to put it on 98. It's currently on 91, so it's detonating a little bit. But once we do that, probably play around with it a little bit more and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, guys. Well, we're just quickly going to conclude the video because I always forget to conclude the video. It's the next day now and uh, yeah, Peter's taking my garage. Dude. Dude, 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 if you want to buy this car, hit me up. It's for sale. No. Yes. No. Yes. Bye bye. No. Yep. Zheng Shonghao. Zheng Ming. Bin Chiling. I can't really show you the Lancer because that's for the next video. We've got some spicy mods uh, that we've done to it. So, uh, yeah, click subscribe and uh, we're going to be boosting it more in the next video. See you all in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye. Buy your merch, baby. Ah. Mike Leg blows up my is. Lancer. Call out. Mike Leg blows up my Lancer. Unfriended. Unfriended, yeah. <laughs> Mike scam Lake. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Dude! What? That is wicked.